So we're here in downtown West Reading on Penn Avenue. Look at how busy it is and look at all these great little shops and restaurants. It's just looking very lively for a Saturday evening. And here we are at the Papillon Brasserie. I get to meet Philippe, the chef, and he's going to show us how to make some really exquisite meals using the Melfort Vinaigre de France. For a chicken breast, I, I get my chicken from a, a local farm. Um, we work with local farms as much as possible. Um, all of our vegetables, when they're in season, come from local farm. It's organic DNA produce. Um, all of our poultry comes from Schoenberger Organic Farm, which is a local farm about a half an hour from here. Um, our pork comes from a place called Wybrook Farm. Um, it's a sustainable farm, and the, the pigs spend the last six months of their lives um, in an open pasture setting uh, where they eat acorns and, and root for vegetables and things like that. So they, they're in a totally open environment. Um, we, uh, we cure our own bacon, we cure our own hams, things like that. Wow. Um, so we try to do as much uh, you know, soup to nuts as the expression goes as possible. Um, we don't serve any, any artificial ingredient here. Um, I've banned um, ketchup, I've banned any kind of artificial sweeteners. <laughs> I do not allow them in my restaurant. This is my um, kind of restaurant. Yeah, so uh, I have a reputation, but it's, it's well deserved. So This is a, what we call a French cut chicken breast. It has the, the wings still on it. I'm going to put a little bit of herbs de Provence, a little bit of sel gris, which is a, a gray sea salt, it's a coarser type of salt, uh, and then a little bit of cracked pepper. Simple, look at that. So simple. Very simple. Some root vegetables. These are um, red carrots, they come from our farm also. I don't think I've ever seen red carrots. It's an, it's an heirloom breed. So we're just going to get a seal on the other side of the chicken and then we're going to season the vegetables. Again, very simply, just a little bit of salt, a little bit of the pepper, because these vegetables have so much natural flavor you don't want to cover them up. So we'll go from here, right into the oven. We're going to check on the progress of our chicken. Flip it over, yeah. And now we're going to make a very simple pan sauce for this. We'll turn the heat on, again to the medium high heat. We're going to take the chicken breast out. A little bit of uh, white wine. Turn the heat up. Uh, a nice little knob of, of butter. And that's going to add the richness. We're going to sharpen that sauce a little bit. Now for this, we're going to use the, uh, the original mouthboard, the honey and herb. The honey is going to give a little bit of the sweetness. And this is nice for a dish like this, a simple chicken dish, because it's, it's a simple classic. So again, just, you know, a tablespoon of maybe at the most. A little bit of parsley. How that changed. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So now, when you have that with the chicken, with the really rich, creamy chicken breast, it's going to stand up. Gorgeous, beautiful. Okay. So, Philip, tell me why you use the Melfor products as opposed to other products that are out there. Well, um, at Papillon, we, uh, we strive to serve nothing but uh, high-quality ingredients, as I explained to you before. Um, and I've found uh, using a product that uh, has a high quality. It also has a um, very consistent finish. Uh, and so with my cooking, it, it accentuates instead of covering up too strong. Um, it has a lower acidity, which I think is nice. So for cooking, I think it's, it's not as... It's punchy and it's stronger. So as I said before, to sharpen the sauce, it doesn't overpower. It just merely cuts and gives you a nice little right in flavor. There is a difference between a French restaurant, a French fine restaurant, and a French brasserie. And Philippe is going to explain the difference to us right now so that you know what to expect when you come to Papillon. Um, a brasserie is a, is a casual a casual restaurant. It's, um, 
an everyday sort of place um, here at Papillon. Um, I play my music. Uh, I like my stones and my Zeppelin. And, and uh, you know, I have a good time. And everyone here is having fun. It's an open kitchen. It's a loud atmosphere. Um, the idea behind the restaurant that I always had was that you're dining in my home. Um, and if you were my guest, you were dining in my home, you'd listen to the music I play, you eat the food the way I want it cooked. Um, and if you don't like it, there's the door. Um, that's why, uh, you know, some customers that don't understand, they think this is fine dining, they don't understand, they think because it's French, it's fine dining, you know, they get frustrated. And so um, a friend of mine, an artist, painted this portrait of me, and it says, uh, the chef food, which means the crazy chef. And then underneath it says, it's only papillon, but I like it. Um, you know, paraphrasing the, the Rolling Stones. So. And he works seven days a week, so <laughs> he should do what he wants. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.